New tonight, police have made a second arrest in connection to the death of 33 year old Maisha Patel. As Maisha, Misha, excuse me, and her husband were leaving Debbie's convenience store in November 2018, police say Bernardo Thompson tried to open the driver door, but Patel drove off after being shot. She later died at Phoebe. It took two years for police to identify a suspect in the case. Two years after that, in March of 2022, Bernardo Thompson was indicted on felony murder and other charges in connection to Patel's death. Matthew Scott Parker is charged with murder in connection to Misha's death, in addition to other charges, including aggravated assault. Well, tonight we spoke with residents who remember Misha and called her their friend. Residents who frequent Debbie's convenience store that sits on the corner of Palmyra and 7th tell me the death of Patel sent shockwaves through the community. It was shocking. It was very shocking. She's a very nice, lovely woman. Very kind, compassionate. Do you frequent this store often? All the time. You do? Do you remember her, Misha Patel? Yeah. Both of, them, both of them were my friend. Another resident we spoke with recalls the night of November 10th, 2018, when Bernardo Thompson attempted to hijack Patel's car. Well, I had came through that night, but I went out on uh, Monroe down there, turning it out, and I saw the ambulance down there. Yeah. Even after Misha's death, Debbie's is still in business. Her husband went back to Mecca, I know that, after her death. And um, her sons were up here for a little while working, running the store. So, you know, every time you come in, you think about her. We're still working to talk with Patel's family to get their reaction on the latest development in this case.